Hey guys, tip me with another video and as you guys saw in the title, this is going to be all about some of the new hard candy products that have been released. Now if you guys are familiar with my channel, you know that I love hard candy. I feel like they have some really great makeup items, some really great like face items as far as their primers and sprays and things like that. But I definitely feel like hard candy is kind of slept on. You don't hear too many people talk about them. Um, a lot of people do drugstore hauls. You don't really hear hard candy being talked about, but I love them. I feel like they have some great things that are super affordable. Not all they stuff now. Don't get it twisted. They do sometimes have a lot of missed products, but for the most part, I think they have some really great stuff. Now, hard candy is only found in Walmart as far as I know. I've never seen hard candy in like a Walgreens, a CVS, or anything like that. But again, their items are super affordable. I found some new goodies, no more talking, let's get into this haul. So the first thing that I picked up, I am super, super excited to finally get my hands on. Now this is not a new product for Heart Candy. This is their heavy duty concealer. Um, it's called the Glamouflage Concealer. It looks like this. This is not new. This is one of Heart Candy's staple products. I'm always hearing people rave about this concealer. It's supposed to like cover tattoos and have like the most coverage for a drugstore concealer. The thing that's new about it is that Hard Candy came out with three new shades. Before they did not have any deeper shades in the line and I think they stopped at like medium. So I was never able to try it. I knew it was gonna be too light and had me looking all yellow and jaundiced underneath the eyes and that's not cute. But again, they came out with three shades. This one is Caramel. This is the next to deepest shade. Um, they had one that was deeper than this and I knew it was going to be too deep for my skin tone so I didn't pick it up. And then they had one, I want to say it was like Honey. I took a picture of it so somewhere during the course of the video I'll go ahead and include a picture so you guys can see. But again, I was really, really happy because I've heard so many people rave about this concealer. I did use it underneath my eyes today and I have to tell you I really like it. I didn't go too heavy with it because the one thing I will say this is a thicker concealer this consistency kind of reminds me of the Kevin Aquan um oh, what is the thing called I have it the Kevin Aquan I had to reach over in my vanity and get it but it is the Kevin Aquan sensual skin enhancer you guys know it looks like this this is like a really really thick product it's like so thick that the smallest amount is all you need this one sort of reminds me of that same consistency to where I felt like you didn't need a lot so I didn't use a lot I use like the smallest dot and I still feel like it did some really really great coverage so I'm still gonna play around with this but again super excited they, they finally have deeper colors it took them long enough but I'm finally able to say I can now try out the Glamouflage Concealer again without looking yellow underneath the eyes. Good job, Hard Candy. It also comes with like this little, um, I guess like a spot concealer type of pencil on the inside as well. I know I'm not going to use it, but just so you guys know, it does come with the concealer as well. The next item that I picked up is the new um, Just Glow Baked Illuminating Duo. That's what it looks like. Now I've seen this from Heart Candy before, but I know it had two lighter shades. So this product may actually have been out for a while, but I do know for sure they didn't have these two deeper shades because I always wanted to try it, but I felt like the shades that I previously saw were just like way too light. But y'all know I love a good highlighter, so I had to try this out. This one is in Twinkle Star, and again, it's the Baked Illuminating Duo. Now, it comes like this in the pack. It comes um, with a little mirror, and then you get a little brush, and then the two Baked Duos. I did open this. I was really excited to open this and try it out, and I can let you guys know that I don't like it. <laughs> I am not a fan at all. Um, again, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to swatch them. I had really high hopes for these, but to me, this is nothing but like a glitter bomb. That's it right there. I don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but honestly, it's just like powdered glitter. It's not so much like highlight. I don't know. To me, it's just like powdered glitter and it's nothing I could do with this. This would do nothing but just leave like a trail of glitter on my face. Not so much like highlighting or anything like that. So I'm probably going to take this back to the store because I think it was like about $8. 
Um, and that's eight dollars that I could spend on something else from Hard Candy that I know I love. So I don't know, maybe if you like glitter like that, maybe if you like powdered glitter, you like this. But for me, it's just a no. So this next item I was also really excited to see in stores. Um, this is one of their Look Pro like eyeshadow kits. They have a lot of these. They have ones that's like glitter. They have ones that has bold colors, smoky colors, nude colors, warm colors. Like they have so many different color selections. This one is the Look Pro Metal Eyes. Um, it just comes in like this little tin, and then on the inside. It looks like this. So you do get four of these sort of like baked eyeshadows. You get this um, setting spray liquid. You get a little tin to put the liquid in. You get a black liner and then you also get a brush on the side. I'll try to take the brush out so you guys can see. It's like a double sided brush and it's actually the brush that I use today. I'm wearing this color right here on my lid. I'm only wearing two colors on my, my eyes today. This is the main color that is on my lids and then I use a little bit of the yellowy gold um, right here in my inner corner and then I'm using another eyeshadow just to blend that out but I think this color is absolutely gorgeous. I did use it with the liquid and I think it gives it sort of like a wet type of look but it's not like wet to where it moves like using this it gives it the wet look but it also kind of just keeps the shadow in place so I have to tell you just like initially I really like it and I normally don't really like the hard candy eyeshadows they're not really pigmented um, they don't really show up most of the time and I'm just not a fan but this one I have to say I feel like they did a really good job I really am fuss free when it comes to makeup. I know y'all probably like tip girl, whatever, but seriously, most of the time I'm always in a rush or I just need to do something really quick and I can get down with two shadows and I really like this. I feel like for it to only be two shadows, it looks well put together. Y'all tell me what y'all think down below in the comment section, but this, I really like it and I was surprised because I didn't have high hopes, but I knew I wanted to try it out for you guys, but I actually really like it. But now for the fun stuff, the lippies. I feel like Hard Candy lately with their liquid lipsticks and their velvet mousse lipsticks, like they have been doing an awesome job. And I saw that they released um, some more of their lippies. Now they released these velvet mousse lippies like quite a while ago. I did a video on them when they came out. It's been a while ago, but I'll try to see if I can link it up here in case you guys want to check them out. They're $5. Um, they come with these really cute tins, which I think just, I don't know, like for $5, you get in a cute tin, you get a mirror, and then you actually get the product. It's just really, really cute. But I saw this color that I had not seen before. Also, the packaging on this one is different, but it was the only one. It was with the permanent um, velvet mousse shades, but again, the packaging was different, and I know I had never seen this color before, so I just went ahead and picked it up. This one is called Fox Glove. Here's what it looks like, and it just has that really like cool toned um, gray type of undertone, kind of like Max Stone lipstick. It puts me in the mind of that. And I usually don't like cool tone lipsticks, but I am a fan of colors like this. I don't know. I really like them on me. So I just wanted to go ahead and pick that up. And again, $5. I, I feel like you can't beat it because I really do like the um, feel of the Velvet Mousse Lippies. They ha they're really comfortable. They last a really long time. They are really, really good in case you guys have never tried them out before. But then I saw that they had some new lippies and these are called the new hard candy wet ever bold hold lip lacquers and here is what they look like i only saw three um the other one was i think it was more of a red shade i'm not sure but i believe i took a picture and if i did i'll include that so you guys can see but of the three i picked these two up this first one as you can see obviously it's a pink I think the packaging is really cute it's still that like um, metal tin but this one has like the color dripping down kind of puts you in the mind of the Kylie Jenner packaging again it comes with the mirror on the inside and then the actual product it also has like the dripping on it I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see because it is clear but it has like a textured um, dripping of the color coming down and again I thought that was really cute this one is Selfish, and again, obviously, it's a pink. This one puts me in the mind of, like, MAC St. Germain um, colors like that. 
I don't too often wear pinks. I did try this on and I thought it was really nice. Let me know if you guys want to see a lip swatch. I'll probably do it on like Instagram or something like that. But I thought it was a really, really pretty color. But this next one for sure had my name written all over it. Here is the packaging of it. This one is Temptress. Um, and it just has the same packaging as the other one. Here is how it looks. And guys, this is what I'm wearing on my lips today. You guys know normally I'm not someone who likes the whole glossy lip look. Like, give me a matte lipstick and let me go about my business. But I have to say, I've been wearing this now for maybe about two hours. And it's really comfortable. It's glossy, but it's not like that slippy slippy slippery type of gloss it just feels real comfortable on the lips um it just has i don't know like a really nice comfortable type of feel it's not sticky it's not slippery it's not like super glossy so i definitely feel like this is a gloss that i could get down with but let me go ahead and swatch it for you guys as well that is it right there i only have one coat of this on my lips guys I put it in, took it out, and applied it. I didn't apply like a second one or anything. And as you can see, this thing is like so pigmented. Even the swatch is like super, super pigmented, y'all. What? Sleep on hard candy lip products if you want to. But I feel like especially like their, their um, like liquid type of lipsticks are bomb. And y'all are missing out if you kind of toot your nose up at like drugstore makeup or oh, I'm not going out to buy that oh that's cheap okay okay but guys that is it as far as the new items that I picked up from hard candy like I said I feel like a lot of people sleep on hard candy you don't hear too much about the brand but whenever I run across something new I always want to come and let you guys know what I picked up because I do feel like a lot of the times they have some really great products and their lip products check them out i don't think you'll be disappointed let me know if you guys have already seen these items popping up in your walmart let me know if you've actually seen more colors because sometimes my walmart doesn't always get in everything so let me know if there is something else that i should be on the lookout for and whatever else you want to tell me down below in the comment section and until next time bye youtube